everybody, this is Momo. If you hear crazy growling, it's Hero in the background. And today we're gonna do our card size a little different. I cut this out at nine and a half by eight, and we're gonna fold it the long way. So we're gonna end up with um, a four by nine and a half card. And this card will fit into a regular like business size envelope. These are the really cheap ones from Big Lots, but just so you guys can get an idea, it'll fit into a regular business size. So, um, so you guys can can do that. Okay, so this is what our card is gonna look like. And then I have my first layer is a green mat. And um, this is cut out at nine and a quarter by three and three quarters. And we're just gonna go ahead and adhere this down. Just wanna make sure it's lined up. Perfect. And then I have this cute pattern paper and um, this is from the Animal Crackers. And this is cut out at three and a half by nine. go ahead and line this up. Let me just pull it away for a second. I get really crazy when my layers don't line up. Okay. All right, perfect. So that's our card base. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. And now we have a lot of layering today, so you're probably going to see that I skip through and, and kind of get through everything because um, it's going to take me a while to layer everything. So right now I'm probably going to speed it up in the actual video. And um, we're going to start with this little train and it's cut out from the Create a Critter cartridge. Of course, everything that you see cut today is from the Create a Critter. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and layer everything and I'll show you everything once everything is done. So here's the fast forward. Okay, so we have everybody layered up. So we have the little train with the little wagons that go behind it. Now, when you do this cut, it's only gonna cut the train, the little um, caboose, I guess, or the little front train and one wagon. So I had to cut it twice because I wanted another wagon because I wanted it to be a double. Okay, and then we have our little elephant. Now, the train is cut out at, um, it's, two and a half inches and then the little elephant is at one and a half inches and then the little lion he's at one and a half inches as well okay so we're gonna put all of this together and um, before I do that I do I, I separated some little eyelets little silver ones and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them on the wheels of the little train and the little um, and the little wagons behind it. So I'm just gonna get my crapa dial and I'm kinda gonna eyeball where the center of this is. And perfect. And I'm just gonna put the little eyelet in the center.
just gonna change this to the, the smaller one because I'm using some mini eyelets. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in. See, and it gives it like a whole different look. Okay, so we got all of our eyelets in. And we're gonna get our card, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop dot the little train first. So we're gonna get our little train. I'm so excited about this card. I actually planned this card up in my head, and I couldn't wait to get home and actually put it together. I was just driving around today and stuff. Okay, so we have our train in, and now we're gonna put our um, little elephant in. Doesn't that look super cute? I'm really excited. Okay, then I cut out these two little squares and I just trimmed them from scrap pieces of paper. And this one's cut out at one and five eighths and then this one's cut out at one and a half by one and a half. So, um, so this is one and five eighths by one and five eighths and this one's one and a half by one and a half. And then what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna get this little stamp and it just says happy birthday and I'm just gonna go ahead and and stamp um, right onto the yellow one. So I'm just getting some ink on this. And I'm gonna stamp it as close to the bottom as possible because I wanna hang this off of some hemp because now I'm obsessed with hemp, by the way, guys. So, okay. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to adhere this um, to the, onto the green one. Right there. So that's what we have. And then I'm going to get the hemp. And I'm going to use that same kind of khaki color. I'm just trying to get it off of the... Let me see if this is enough. Okay, this should be perfect. I'm just trying to line it up good. I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna punch a hole at the top of this and I should actually do it with that should be perfect. So I'm going to run the hemp through. And then I'm going to trim it here because it's not, it's kind of um, fraying at the end. And I need it to go through my button. Okay, so I had to change my button um, because the holes in my red button weren't big enough for the hemp to go through. So I changed it to a blue to match the little wagons on my car. And then I just ran the button through and the happy birthday sign. And I'm just gonna tie a little bow here. And I'm just gonna adjust the little things, or the little um, tails and stuff. Okay, so here's our card. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it, and I think it turned out really cute. And um, I have a giveaway going on at my blog because I reached over 400 subscribers. I think I'm by like 460-something on YouTube, and I've already reached over 200 followers on my blog, so that's absolutely amazing. So MemoryMiser.com uh, donated a give a who cartridge for me to give away. So hop on over to my blog and um, leave me a comment. I'll be drawing the winner on National Scrapbooking Day, which is May 1st on Saturday. So um, go ahead and, and hop on over. It's made by momo.blogspot.com and leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned. Bye, guys.